Agarot. You know what agarot means? I'm assuming garden. Hopefully, someone will tell me why all the leaves are turning yellow. Um, oh, yes, they do. They okay, do. okay, because I don't really know, but we're trying. Всем привет! С вами Таня Генерал, канал Субъективно об Америке. Приглашаю вас пошариться по дому моей подруги Линды. Давно-давно-давно мы собирались, наконец-то добрались. Это видео будет частично на английском, пожалуйста, если у вас есть желание и возможности добавить субтитры, не сомневайтесь, проходите по ссылке, там есть такая возможность, и потом дайте мне знать, что файл готов. А я по возможности постараюсь добавлять свои комментарии на русском, чтобы вам было более-менее понятно. Но в основном, конечно же, наслаждайтесь нашими видами, разговорами с Линдой, потому что я знаю, что вы все любите а, Линду, и все знаете, что по-английски она говорит только по-английски, а по-русски нет. Поехали! С вами видео начнется не с передней двери, а с задней, потому что большинство американцев понятия не имеют, как выглядит их передняя дверь, и очень редко ей пользуются. Потому что в большинстве своем заходят они в дом через гараж. Эй, hey, Стив! И а, из гаража в дом ведет так называемая задняя дверь. Hey, everybody! Hello! Welcome! This is my house. And... Thank you! Come on in! And as you can see, we're using actually the back door of the house. And this is into the laundry room. And um, people normally park in our driveway and then they just come through the gate and that? come in through the back. You have a cat? And I have a cat. I, my cat is called Tiggy. Of course, that's his litter box, which we don't even care about really. <laughs> But Tiggy is upstairs in his room, and maybe later on he will come down, and you can see his beautiful green eyes. Wait, 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 wait a second. Your cat has his own room? My cat has his own room. He gets to sleep wherever he wants to. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I find that gray is a bit calming. It's a very quiet color, it's a bit understated, but gray goes into a lot of places and into um, colors you don't even realize are all pieces or shades of gray. Gray isn't just one color, gray is many colors. So in the laundry room, we have your typical darker gray, but in this room, we have a gray that's mixed with a bit of lavender and it blends with everything else that's gray in the house. So we just go from room to room and I have changed up all of the gray colors so that it kind of flows. So again, this is my kitchen and it's an old house from the 1970s and we have had to fix some things up without spending a lot of money. So I like to create a different look and feel so I painted the bottom and then we used sticky back paper on the doors, easy to clean and covers all the old and it looks like no one else's kitchen, I think. The oven, that's the oven, but that is the original oven from the 1970s and it's very retro and my house is all about retro. Does it work? <laughs> it works perfectly. And it's two ovens, so I can cook in the top and cook in the bottom. Although, sometimes I don't cook at all, but I have it if I need it. Yes, we cook. My husband and I both cook. We also cook outside, but I am almost minimalist in what I like around the kitchen because if everything is put away, I don't have to clean it. My husband's a little bit messy and cooking gets everywhere. And the more that's out, the more I have to clean. So it's very easy just to wipe a surface. But I don't keep a lot of things and I have cupboards that are empty, so I like to put everything away. And now another question. Um, how do you find all those little details that make your house so unique and special? Is it all in one? You go for a sh for a shop. You go for shopping and you buy everything, or it's like a collection. Um, for me, it's a collection. Um, we just look for things that look a little bit different, and um, 
Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple of years to find all the things that you want or you leave a wall blank and then all of a sudden you see something in a vintage store or yeah, I'm always looking for new things and even this week I bought a couple of uh, vintage posters for wine and I kind of like that and now I'm filling up another room with things and it's it's finding things you like that are different that are part of our personality okay and this is my favorite room just look at that look at it look at it look at it give us a second to enjoy every single detail give us a second вы видите вы видите вы видите вы видите это же просто образец стиля вкуса я не знаю я эту комнату просто обожаю so, about this room, about all those little details. Okay, this is one of my, my favorite room too. I love this. The, everything is from someplace else. Um, the table is uh, antique from Sweden. And you it, brought it from Sweden? No, I found it in a shop in uh, Chicago and I have had it for many years. And it's Danish modern. And the light is truly from the 1950s, even with the color of yellow paint on it, but that makes it more special. But it really is an old pole lamp, we call them. And it, uh, it springs. It has a spring on the top and the bottom. Um, I have so a couple of pieces from my grandpa on the, on the bar over there. Um, my, my grandpa passed away a few years, well, a long time ago now, but those were his, and um, they're very special, so they're out. And I have a bottle of uh, wine, a champagne where I was Rookie of the Year for being a realtor, and that has to stay there. And then... What does it mean, Rookie of the Year? You it means... Uh, when, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you are a rookie, just like with baseball, you are the new player on the team. And that means you are um, still learning and uh, they give an award for the rookie who does the best in their first year. And that was me. Completely opposite. What the, what Completely I opposite, <laughs> yes, but it, it's fun. And then this bottle right here is from a winery that my husband and I visited. And the bottle is from 1996 when we were married. And so that's a special bottle and it stays there as well. Yeah. And please, please, please about those pictures. Those pictures are actually the same picture twice, but because I put them together, it looks like one picture or almost like one picture, like a, just a continuing situation. And I've had those for years as well. And just sometimes when you stay in your own series of grays, things that you put in will match and you can just keep them and you just keep adding to it. And uh, we lived in a small apartment for a long time, so we've been doing a lot of adding to things. <laughs> but yeah, it's us and it's the things we like and it's soft and it's comfortable. And finally, we are getting to the front entrance. Yes. Formal entrance. Yep. So, Я хотела, ребят, вам еще показать отдельно и специально. Линда, uh, how do you call yourself? A designer? Mosaic artist. А, oh, mosaic artist. Я не знаю, как это сказать. I don't know how to say that in Russian. А я не знаю, как это будет по-русски. Ну, в общем, Линда делает вот такие вот штуки. Это ее хобби. И, как вы видите, она украшает ими дом. А мы собираемся вам рассказать историю этих штук. Но я хочу вам показать еще одну. Just a sec. А, вот такие штуки. Okay, so um, this is how most people walk in. Well, not most people, but some people actually do come to the front door. We get to walk in here. And the first thing we see is the mosaics that actually my friends and Tatiana helped to make. We all sat upstairs one night with a bottle of wine and a hammer. We broke a lot of tiles. We broke a lot of plates and we came up with a design and we put it together and I very proudly hang them in my house because it's a night where we had so much fun. All the girls smashing tiles and dishes and 
putting them together and it came out wonderful. Okay, so into the living room now? Uh -huh. Okay, so at this moment we step into our living room. This is where we spend all our time. We watch TV, we drink, we sometimes eat as well. But, um, wait, 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 you eat in front of the TV? It's so American. <laughs> I can't help it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My husband is British and um, he likes to eat in front of the TV too. We don't always do it, but sometimes we do it. So this is where we, where we are. And in this room, I have a collection of a lot of different things. Um, again, it's a shade of gray that's more blue. Was it here before you moved all those shelves or you did it yourself? The shelves were all here. Uh, the man who lived here before was a carpenter. So he put the shelves in and of course they were just white and I decided they needed color. So I put a backdrop to all of the shelves and then created some color. Do you use a fireplace? Um, up until just a couple of months ago, it was broken, and now we have it fixed, and we will be using the fireplace, yes. And you can see we have fish. So we have three fish tanks over there. Come, come, come. And yeah, you can see. Um, I used three different colors of gray in this room. So the blue gray a beige gray and a darker beige gray. Did you paint it yourself? I did the whole house inside myself. Wow. Did all the painting. My husband held me on the ladder when I went all the way up to the top. And yes. So much light. I love it. And I have pieces that mean some things to us um, on the shelf. Um, this uh, silly little bird person um, was made by an artist in the little village in Venlo where we lived. It's on the German border in the Netherlands. Um, this is a Celtic love knot. My husband is uh, British, he's Welsh. And um, those knots are representative of eternity. There's no beginning and no end. And of course, Steve's mom and dad and right there you'll see there's a whole jar of seashells and those seashells represent every beach that we have ever been on. We find the most beautiful shells and we save them and we put them in a jar and every year we add to those. And that's our little love story. <laughs> Tell me about your pets. Oh, that right there is um, Purdy and we had Purdy a Dalmatian for 13 years and she finally passed away. Um, she was a great dog and we loved her to death. So I have a few Dalmatians around the house just to keep me always thinking of her. She's always in my heart. And um, yeah, she'll never leave. She'll always be with us. And this is your current pets. These are our current pets other than the cat, which is still asleep upstairs. But this is Angel. She's a Japanese fighting fish and she lives alone. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And on this side, in this tank, is Mr. Grumpy and he's, Grumpy. he's about to come over and say hi. Come on, Mr. Grumpy. I see him. Mm -hmm. You see him? I see him from the side. Yes, that's Mr. Grumpy. And oh, he, from that angle they are like together. Yes. And they see each other and they want to come together through the glass, but they can't. And in this tank, yes, we have like all of our little kiddos. Mm -hmm. I like those mosaics, Linda, I really love them. And this is another mosaic that I did. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec, I want to say something yeah. in Russian too. И если вы, ребята, внимательно смотрите мои видео, то вы можете и у меня на кухне тоже увидеть один из таких элементов, потому что Линда мне его сделала. So now, 
Еще одно обычное дополнение к дому, это такой типа офис-кабинет, но в офисе-кабинете у Линды со Стивом. For, Ooh, we play darts. Oh, okay. Also, we play darts in here. Um, I am not sure how popular darts are in Russia, but... Yeah, pretty popular. You throw them and you know what the score is. And this room is just a room that comes about slowly. We originally wanted to put a pool table in here, but not yet. I this room it. is a good one. Again, this is a room with another shade of gray. It has uh, a little bit more green in it, but we like it so much. And because we like also to drink and vodka and everything else, we have a lot of things that are all related to having fun Where in this room. You? Those chairs are now a little bit old, um, but we got those in Chicago. This one is very retro, but found it at Home Goods, so it's a recent purchase. And um, we were sitting at our neighborhood pub one night and a man who was very, very, very drunk came up to us and started talking. And he is a fan of Kiss. And when he found out that Steve was British, he said, I'll be right back. And he came back to the bar, made us wait there for him. And he gave Steve this pla and it's hanging on my wall ever since. And it's been like a, two years ago now. And we have never seen that gentleman again. And we don't know what happened to him, but he came in, he bestowed this gift on us, and there it is, it will hang in my house. But we love it. And all of the things we have, we just collect over time and just enjoy. My pictures on, in this room all came from vintage shops um, in the area. It's fun. About oh my what? God, Linda, I really love, love, love. I know, love I love this carpet. carpet. Oops, did I'm you, bound. Did you do it yourself? Um, no, we pick out the carpet. You pick out the color you like, but um, you have to have somebody professionally put carpet in. They know what they're doing. Is it, is it hard to put the carpet? Yes. They have to tear out all the old. Then they have to cut. They have to put the stuff underneath it. And yes, voila, it's here. And they do it in two hours, and Steve and I would have been here a month trying to do this. Okay. Please room. Once again. I'm in front. Okay, this room is a little bit of a mess, but this is Tiggy's room. As you can see, there's an assortment of toys, and this is one of his beds. He crawls in there and goes to sleep. And normally he sleeps on the chair by the window so that he can watch everybody. And there's his tree and toys and, okay, paper stuff, don't worry about that. Okay, wow. this is my work room. So generally it's a bit of a mess, but um, I get lots of light. I know the picture. I know you do. You've seen half of it anyway. That is half of it. And then this is where I put things together. And right now I am working on this piece. And it still needs a lot of work, but it's basically there. I still have to glue it and then put the grout in between and the grout in top. And What is going to be? It will look just like this, but it's a um, Mondrian kind of a design, so there'll be lines oh. crossing everything uh -huh. off. Uh -huh. And um, a lot of my friends have given me plates, and I have tried to use and the cups. different plates. <laughs> yes. You can see there, there's another cup or creamer that's busted, and we need okay. to do something with that. А в этой комнате я очень надеюсь когда-нибудь сама пожить, потому что это гостевая комната, и она мне ужасно нравится. Okay, this is our guest bedroom, so if somebody wants to come and stay with us, we like them to stay in here. Um, again, there's some more of my mosaics, which um, I bought the frames at a vintage shop and then just put them over my mosaic so the wall color shows through. Again, I love that cabinet. It's another cabinet. vintage shop find. What is that, Chester? Chest? Yeah, it's just a chest, but uh, it opens like so. Uh -huh. So someone can put their clothes in there. Your happy guest, your lucky guest. Yeah. Oh, I like the headboard of that bed. Again, mm -hmm. another vintage find. Mm -hmm. um, can we get closer? Please? Yeah. With me, with me, follow me. I am. <gasps> Jesus Christ, Linda, it's so cool. 
Again, another, we, we have a, a store down the road. We have a store down the road and it's for, um, it's called Habitat for Humanity. So if a house um, is being taken down and they can take the floors out or somebody is remodeling and they have faucets and sinks and things like that, they donate everything to this store. The store fixes things up again. They can give it to homeowners that are in need or they also have a store so they can sell them, but they sell them at very, very, very low prices just to afford to keep the people working there. So it's always good when you can go in there and try and find um, like say a door or a new window and then you just paint it and you have a new window and you don't have to pay the high prices that a store would. Sometimes you have to make it fit a little bit, but um, it always works out and you're supporting a good cause. So this is my little room. So this is our little bathroom. So they can come and wash up. Obviously there's two because there's two bedrooms attached oh, okay. to the bathroom. In America, we call it Jack and Jill. So Jack has his room and Jill has her room and they can just share the bathroom and then the toilet and the shower are over there. And my husband and I remodeled this. We took everything out. Put new floor, new walls. And gray color again. Again, another shade of gray. I really like those lights. Yeah, really. they look like the ones outside, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so at this time, I decided I would try my hand with painting. And I decided to mix the mosaics with the paint. And so there's pieces of things I found in the road. There's broken mirror, there's tiles, and there's colors. <laughs> Обычно, ребят, я никогда никого не зову в свою спальню, не вожу в чужие, но Линда была добра enough, kind enough to let us to her bedroom. <laughs> All right. So this is our bedroom. And um, it's not a gigantic room, but big enough. We have the doors that lead outside to the pool. And yeah, again, another shade of gray. And here you went yellow, gray and yellow. Gray and yellow, and a little bit of red. I got a red light that I've had for a long time. Um, yeah, just little bits of everything, all of coming together. But outside we are having some, um, some work done outside and we're waiting for them to put more dirt and some grass down so that when you walk out these doors, you can take a swim. It's been a long time in coming, but we are finally fixing it up. We're quite happy about that. Sure. Okay. Tell us about your agarot. You know what agarot means? I'm assuming garden. E vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Okay. So we have our vegetable garden. Um, tomatoes which you can see there's quite a few. There's one turning red. A lot of yellow leaves. We're not sure why this is our really only oh, our second me. attempt. My followers will tell you right away. They okay. Everything about everything. So this one is squash. So we have a couple almost ready. I don't know about that one, but there's a couple on there. These are peppers. Big ones too now bell pepper and these are jalapeno these are hot peppers which i love okay this is supposed to be broccoli but something went wrong <laughs> and then these are more tomatoes but a different kind of tomato so here and here they're coming everywhere eventually last year we did a little patch over there but this year we really tried to be bigger but some things I don't think work so well, but we have to learn, so I need help. Help! What happened was, when we got our home inspection, we knew there were several things that needed to be fixed. Nothing was very scary, but it was a long list. And so we decided that we would work through the list, and we felt that by us working on the house, we could add value. And we really wanted to add value over and above um, what the value of the house already was. And so we took the most important things off of the inspection and we got those fixed right away. 
The rest, most people call decorating, but um, sometimes I think you need to live in a house to kind of feel the soul of the house and it will help you decide where you need to go. Then as you decide on one thing, it leads you to fix little things along the way and make them better. Um, so painting found a little problem here and a little problem there and then you make something neater and cleaner. But Steve and I have been in this house now for over four years and I think we're still working on things. So it took us this long. Some things are more expensive than others, true. And my decorating is a lot of the things that I make or that I find that are very inexpensive that allows me to do the bigger things to spend the money on what's important and structural things for the house and four years and we finally painted the outside of the house yay um, now we're fixing up the garden but this past four years we have just taken our time painted looked for decorations made decorations and lived in the house because there's no point in having a house if you are broke all the time. You have to live your life <laughs> as well. So it's a process. And since we know we're going to stay here for a while, what's the rush? Just enjoy living in it in every phase that you have and just enjoy the process of changing, designing, collecting, and loving your home. That's it. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. А на этом у нас сегодня все. Спасибо, что посмотрели. Жду ваших комментариев. И не забудьте, пожалуйста, Линда очень ждет советов, что же делать с этими проклятыми томатами, чтобы листья у них не желтели. Я уверена, друзья, наш коллективный мозг обязательно найдет для нее решение, даже если это будет проклятый куриный бульон. Ставьте лайки, оставляйте комментарии и далеко не уходите. Впереди, как всегда, еще очень много интересного. Да, котик? Скажи-ка, интересного очень много. Да, вот такой котик. Такой котик. Вот такой котик. Да, котик, котик, котик.